1953, closed the gulags. Well, not all of the gulags, but he closed many. I can tell you almost 300,000 men and women died right here at Norilsk. There was 103 gulags in Russia. 18 million people perished. We are just people. We are just people. For I must tell you about Nikita Khrushchev's grave. <laughs> you know, every man holds a little bit of evil in his soul. Da? In Nikita Khrushchev there is a great irony. He was buried in New Maiden Cemetery in Moscow. He was not buried a private person because he was expelled from being, being the general secretary. <laughs> Now I'm telling you this. His monument, it is, it is angular, black on one side, white on the other side. Sharp line in between. <laughs> what do these colors represent, huh? What do you think? Maybe the good and the evil? No, I don't know. The virtues and what have you? You tell me. I am not a philosopher. <laughs> but it is abstract, eh? <laughs> maybe this is the extremes of Russia, but maybe so. But the irony of Khrushchev is that he hated abstract art! <laughs> His hate was so intense that he went through all of Russia destroying writings and, and paintings and sculptures that were abstract. And listen to me, this is what I love. One of the many abstract artists was banished from the Soviet Union and, and they called him up and said, would you make Khrushchev's gravestone? <laughs> <laughs> An abstract artist, can you imagine when that request came in what he said? You bet! Ernst Navalensky was his name. Navalensky. <laughs> he was in America then. Navalensky means unknown. Navalensky. Navalensky designed the gravestone for Nikita Khrushchev. Black on one side, white on the other. No grave for men like Khrushchev. Now you understand Khrushchev better, da? Oh. <coughs> I call this polit poetic justice. <laughs> Khrushchev would have hated poetic justice. <laughs> but here we are, Norilsk. Norilsk has many ghosts. It is a city built on bones. Oh, but it's all day today. This American geologist and I have been talking. Very interested in all of this. He comes from America. It's good the Americans are here. And I tell him one thing. Please. <laughs> 